channel. My name is Karina and I am going to be planning out a memory spread from 2019. I am trying to desperately catch up, but I have come to realize that in memory planning, it is very rare that you are current in memory planning. I am about nine months behind, but that's okay. Um, I use a happy planner uh, big, the bigger size, gives you more space to write on. These are the books that I thought I could be pulling from for this spread. It is the Year in Memories, Happy Planner, Me and My Big Ideas sticker book, uh, Dates and Holidays, and just the big um, memory planning sticker book. So I've already flipped through it, flagged a couple pages that I think I want to use, but anything can change. This is my notebook. This is where I kind of go back and write down what I did in the week, what I want to remember. Um, little, I don't know if this what, what this would be called, just a sticker or memory sticker. I don't know if that's ephemera. I don't know if that's the correct term. Um, I've already pre-printed my photos and I use a uh, HP sprocket to print these out. I love it. I think the quality is great. My biggest concern is the cost uh, to print one of these. The paper itself can get a little pricey, but it's convenient, it works. So there you have it. I, I use the HP Sprocket. Okay, uh, this is pretty much the overall theme I would like to use. Our, since it's August, I thought these were pretty colors. Zoom in a little bit. I could pull from these sheets and these flowers are really what I want to drive the overall spread. And these rose, rose colored stickers, sorry if it's that blinding, I thought were really pretty. So, um, all right, got a hair there. So I will start by selecting stickers that I want to use and then kind of plan around that and pull stickers that coordinate with the color. Um, I never really use the sidebar here because honestly I don't remember what my top five <laughs> moments of that week were. Um, so I wipe this out with some sticker paper. Any kind of sticker paper would work. I think this is a Avery L sticker paper and I just cut it down to size. So I will go ahead and fast forward through that part, get the basics set up, and I will be right back. Okay, so I covered up my sidebar. I think I'm going to leave these leaves because once I get all the stickers down, I think they'll blend in nicely with my color scheme I'm using this week. All right, so here comes the hard part is committing, committing to where you want your stickers to be laid down. So I need to get some dates up here. It really helps me when I'm laying down my photos and keeps me from getting confused on what date is what. So, um, I really liked these. I might use that. Um, let's see. I really liked these. You know what, it could be crazy, but the colors match. So we need the 19th. Okay. So, um, I could go ahead and put August down there. Um, thinking what I could do is grab this guy 
August. Maybe slap them on this red, this yellow. I think I'm gonna go for the yellow. Okay, so now I know this is August 19th through the 25th. Very helpful. Okay. So, all right, so I lay my photos down by date order just to kind of see what I'm working with and where I have room to add extra stickers. So, let's see. Hmm. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump back in and wrap up the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around to the very end. I am just um, writing in the memories, which is my favorite part. And um, I had a really hard time committing to the pictures, as you could tell. I moved them about a hundred different times, but that is hand in hand with um, scrapbooking, memory keeping. You have to move things um, over and over until you're happy with it. I also have a typo that I wrote right here coming up instead of um, ramen. I wrote ramen, but no big deal. You can always fix it. Um, never be afraid to go and pull the sticker up, white it out, use a new sticker, whatever you need. You can always fix an error. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate um, you guys. Um, giving me the support and I hope you have a wonderful weekend a wonderful week and we'll see you guys soon bye